times Well, we post it every Friday See them corner emojis, and you know a nigga wildin' Jay the Gemini to the day I die And I'ma talk my shit, but I don't play both sides so nah. what, what could we have possibly done in America now? As American tradition goes, for whatever sick freaking reason There is this odd fascination with, like, true crime But specifically, like Jeffrey Dahmer and if y'all y'all can go back and look at our old podcast from day one I have always said I have a weird feeling about these true crime YouTube channels these girls that be putting on lashes and talking about people getting hacked up and like not hacked up no seriously these freaking lifetime movies releasing like there's a Gabby Petito lifetime movie now like what the hell did not sign off on that I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner, honestly. Oh, the Gabby Petito one? Yeah. Yeah, because... Especially with them, right? Aw, oh, dude. They don't care at all. They probably just had Brian Laundrie's people sign off on that. Right. But there's no Last other place. person in the U.S. There's probably maybe like five more other guys who are people obsess over for whatever weird reason. But Jeffrey Dahmer is like the main dude. I think I saw online, they said that there's been over like six different movies made since the 90s about because he ate niggas yeah i get what he did was shocking but you gotta think like there's usually not that many movies about he stuff. ate niggas think about he supply and demand think about supply and demand bro bruh have y'all seen that movie about the, the based on the real story about that girl and her sister whose parents worked in like the circus or whatever and they left him with like this crazy bitch in the neighborhood and they chained the girl up in the basement that was like national thing that shit went crazy yeah, only two movies were made and maybe like one tv show and that happened in like the 50s Do you know this why? dude has like tv shows movies like short films uh prequels um what happened to his parents uh history you know who about else got the, like, and I don't even know if they're a real person. Norman Bates. Yes. A lot of stuff that was going not on. A, that, wasn't a, that wasn't a real person. That was a movie. I, exactly. It is, but, but that's the you, difference. But it's when a, you actually have somebody fair. out here eating people, for real, for real, you got to make movies about it several times over. So, remember how I said supply and demand? Yeah. There is a certain type of person that is keeping the Dahmer shit alive. So there is a new show, um, and it's on Netflix here. I'm trying to, here, you guys can see it. It says Netflix Dahmer series song. Oh and people are on TikTok using this song and basically, like, saying that they watched the show, but the show was, like, not as descriptive as they would want they want to see freaking hey, yo. my bad they want to see crime photos <laughs> and all this stuff talking about look i was totally unfazed after two days of watching it like y'all like basically just being like y'all are so sensitive what you want, like, like a balloon or something that's what i'm saying you want the award for being the most messed up then you i kept seeing this multiple times people like the way Dahmer was raised is the same way I was raised, uh, so I'm probably gonna be that guy. I don't know, man. Right. I might be that guy. She's gotta have femurs in her freezer. Look, see this dude too. When you realize your mom did the same thing Jeffrey Dahmer's mom did, bro. Oh, this bitch takes the cake. That is not a flex. This bitch takes the cake. Not a flex at all, bro. It says everyone is freaking out about how morbid the new Dahmer show is. And you're just bummed they didn't show the actual morbid parts. Bruh. And then look at this. She looks bored and zooms in on her earring. Oh, so she was the one writing him. She would have been Jay Payne or yep. popping that cat yep. if bro was still here and he didn't get... <laughs> what a dumbass. Wow. Look, when you're wondering how mentally ill you are, because there are people who have trouble watching Dahmer without pausing, and you just binge watched it while snacking. That just concerns me, because I'm like, there's something in common with all of y'all, for one. For two, for two, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm concerned I'm where sorry. it's like, yo, 
What are y'all willing to put up with in the real world? Like, uh, y'all need to be No, watched. seriously. Somebody like, needs to watch you. Because you're... You need to be on a freaking just list. A little, just a little like, strange. Here's another right? dude. People turning off Dahmer halfway through because it's too much. Then there's me smashing all 10 episodes with snacks in like 10 days. Like, I just don't see, do you want to, do you want to just like uh, watching little boys get uh, violated and No, that's what I'm saying. Like, what the hell? And like you said, so basically, you you would have been, so basically y'all would have been on his JPay type shit. Y'all would have been, because look, when you look up his name on TikTok, because I'm trying to keep it in the same sphere in case people want to be like, I'm being drama out and shit. These are the most common searches on TikTok when you just look up Jeffrey Dahmer. Look at this. So all I put was Jeffrey. All I put was Jeffrey. Excuse me. I didn't even put Dahmer. I just put Jeffrey. This is how obsessed, like... Drunk dancing, Polaroids, victims, real footage. Yearbook. Like, it's like, yo, dog. This, so I think it's. And I'm not saying it's all like you know people, but I'm just saying there. You get when you notice things, you just gotta speak on. I'm like, yeah, that's. I. I think people forget that this isn't a movie. This did not happen a hundred years ago. Um, the people involved are still alive. Um, yeah, so this is what they have to say about the show uh, that just came out on Netflix. They've been some people have been going to the media. I also found uh, a town, uh, Milwaukee, and they're talking about how they felt about it, like. Like, this is real people. Like, it's a I don't big see town, it. bro. Yeah. We were watching a video about that town. Somebody was out there. It's pretty hood up there. He says pretty hood in Milwaukee. Hell yeah. Isabel is vocalizing why she's not happy with yeah. the retelling of the tragic experience. My name is Rita Isabel, and I'm the oldest sister of Errol Lindsay. Jeff, whatever your mm-hmm. name is, mm-hmm. Insider Rita slammed Netflix for forcing her and her family to relive the trauma. Specifically, this scene where they recreated her victim impact statement word for word. Mm-hmm. This is how you act when you are at supper. Have to see my two mother. I saw myself snapping on his ass. Snapping on his ass. That the scene bothered me, especially when I saw myself. When I saw my name come across the screen and this lady saying verbatim exactly what I said. She goes on, it brought back all the emotions I was feeling back then. And it felt like she was reliving it all over again. I smell a lawsuit. Rita also calls out Netflix I mean... for its, quote, greed. And calls it sad they're making money off of this tragedy. I knew I was... They could have at least, like, reached out to break y'all off. That's like, what I'm saying. If y'all like... really must do this, because it's not going to sit here and act like... Everybody's binging it. They're not making any money off of it, oh, or like people ain't signing up just to see this shop. You see like, the search? I just typed in Jeffrey. Like you see the people, people are that are typing it. that. Let me stop berating you for your appearance or whatever, bro. To hell with how you feel about how everybody else feels. What does that say about you? That you're that desensitized to that. That you get a kick out of watching gay people of color. You get a kick out of get seeing men of end. color, gay people of color, getting because they do have a brutally violated, in eaten. eaten, murdered, and disgraced. These are real people. That's like, what. That's just. It's bro. just the desensit. It's just crazy. Got it. Then Eric Perry is also addressing the series, writing on Twitter about his experience watching Rita's scene. Quote, recreating my cousin wow. having an emotional breakdown in court in the face of the man who tortured and murdered her brother is wild. He explains Pretty how wild. is triggering for the family. You gotta pick right, the words children. Carefully. I forgot about that. He also took children too. To watch. Eric also claims no one in his family was informed that a retelling was in the works. Quote, no, they don't notify families when they do this. 
is all public record, wow. so they don't have to notify or pay anyone. Oh, yeah, definitely it's not a lawsuit. They keep talking about bread. Sounds real. That's fucked up, bro. Here is, uh, this was the local news in Milwaukee. And this is actually a victim who escaped. And he's a survivor. Hey Daniels, a drag performer, is one of many people who remembers it well. Is it almost like... Oh, like excuse me. He just remembers it. I thought I he was a like survivor. I feel like it this, this whole horrible moment in Milwaukee history. That it's some kind, it, it shouldn't be looked at as that way. It just feels completely wrong. Daniels performed at what used to be Club 219 here in the Walker's Point neighborhood where Dahmer targeted many of his victims. Oh Among my the goodness. victims, many young gay men. Daniels shared a haunting memory from Pride Fest in 1991. A woman came around and she came up to me and she, we were in drag, so she knew that we were drag queens. And she said, have you seen my son? And she held up uh, just a little snapshot come to find out that this young man that she showed me a photo of was one of the victims. Because of this, wow. he says he will never watch the show. I know a lot of my friends and a lot of people that lived through this period uh, will not be watching that. They will not be putting money into something. That's such a minority out movie. here, though. Mm -hmm. You know, literally disturbing the graves of, of victims. In Milwaukee, Cyria Sandlin, WISN 12 News. Mm. Dahmer was sentenced to life in prison. Another inmate murdered him. In I mean, but one could argue, like, what's the difference between this and, like, uh, Narcos? They've been doing this for years, bro. Like, mm -hmm. they, they don't care. I feel like it's, it's just no come to a point where people are fed up. Like, yeah. the victims are fed up. I couldn't find the news clip, but some victims are kind of on some, like... I can't, and I think you watched it with me, the black dude. I know the difference now. Who, I just where he was it. just like, you know what, bro? I've kind of just come to peace with it that they're just going to keep profiting off of the story mm. anyway. Like an actual survivor. And he was just like, I mean, what can I fucking do? These were just random kids. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. They weren't even random. Like, they, you get what I mean? They, they weren't like narco traficante. Like, they were like just yeah. trying to live, bro. That's the difference. I think the main difference, but there is still the bottom line that Netflix will result to uh, subjugating settlement. the families of deceased people to paying for profit. No, seriously, and At I feel all like, costs. and I feel like, you know how people online be like bullying works. It's not really bullying. I feel like if you like <laughs> shame people for inappropriate behavior, they start to catch on. Like. I don't know if y'all peeped when I scrolled down the TikTok feed of that sound. There were a lot of people coming up objecting like, damn, y'all are using this sound to like brag about how morbid you are. When I looked at that sound this morning, I should have screen recorded it. It was just straight people just bragging like nobody was objecting. So when people start to speak up, other people start to follow suit and like, you know, it's just weird. It's bro. very weird. That's what your uh your claim to fame is, just be being desensitized. Yeah, like of all things to what you discuss, especially with the current climate of today where people are not even supposed to be very pro. Oh, no, like, speaking of the climate of today, how about all these freaking school shooters idolize these type of people? Because y'all want to make fandoms out of serial killers and murderers. Naja, this like, dude was like on some like, have a seat. Mm -hmm. Like, what are y'all doing, bro? All right, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know, bro. You, Prayers to, to the families, bro. I hope your loved ones will be able to rest one day and these people can stop consuming them. Like, literally, that's what you're doing, bro. Like, you're consuming bro. content negative content and you are a sympathizer you're a Thank sympathizer. You. You're a sympathizer don't forget what this you dude was this dude all y'all with tattoos like little boys you? like bro you like eating you like little, little boys, boys, boys y'all like people that eat little boys bro Horrible. good job dog All right, my nigga. Yeah, Chill. I'm at twice. I'm at a while now and another um, event. 
She got the cheat code. So beautiful. She looks just like she looks like in her picture. She so looks you met just her. like that person. Pause. So you met her at Wild and Out before and there wasn't a problem and then you do this live and now there's a problem. Like so we're just gonna pretend like this, never this wasn't weirdo behavior. The same way that her little yellow bone song was weirdo behavior. It was. And you know that song came out after this happened, right? I thought it I... No, it came out after. <laughs>